We're starting to get a little bit of oxidation on the hood, especially focused here on the front of the car. So I'm gonna buff the hood, but what I'm gonna do is once I clean this and everything is dry, I'm gonna put a piece of tape down the middle so we can see the difference between whenever it's buffed and whenever it's not buffed. With the tape, I already have the piece of tape on the hood now, so I'm gonna buff that side, and then whenever I take the tape off, we'll see the difference. We have this Harbor Freight buffer with a, it's the dual action series that they have. The dual action is great. It's like your orbital sander, except in a buffer. And then I have some polish here. Starting from the shape that this paints in, it probably would be best to start with compound and then move to polish. I have a container here of polish, so I'm just gonna start with that. Some of our polish to the pad. Now I'm just gonna take that and apply some of it to the paint in the area that I'm gonna be working. And then we'll turn this on and start buffing. Use a spray bottle with just water in it and spray this down. If you're first starting with a new pad, it likes to absorb more of the compound, so we're gonna add a little bit more on the pad. Little chips in this paint, just all over the surface. Really, I think if we wanted to get this paint more perfect, what we need to do is start with like a 3000 grit sandpaper, a real high grit sandpaper, just to sand this and take off the little chips and specks of dust that are embedded have in some paint. 2000 grit sandpaper that we're going to start with and then we're going to move up to 3000 and then we'll use the buffer to put your sandpaper off. on a foam block like this and then we'll spray down our area with water and spray down our sandpaper and start sanding you want to be really careful on these corners here this is where it's easy to burn the paint off since it's a high spot that's where it'll get sanded the most, so you wanna go over those areas really lightly. Now I'm starting the sanding process with 3000. Whenever I finished with the 2000, there were still little chips and little white spots in the paint, and I think there'll be less of them, and the paint will definitely be a flatter surface, but it won't be perfect. Spray it down with water and wash it off. You can see the haze that's on the surface now. That's okay, that's what we wanted. I can definitely feel it's so much flatter now at this point. I, it, I mean, if I feel over here, it's it's way it's not smooth. This is much better. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start buffing this. I'm gonna buff all this off with a fresh pad, a dry pad. doing like a final buff just with the cloth. This is looking really good. And this surface really looks good. You can just see the reflection in it. It's much better than what the other side was. I'll pull the tape off, we'll wash the hood, and then you can really see the difference. You can see the difference that where the tape would have been that line. Now if I take my hand, if you just listen, you'll hear the difference. You can hear it dragging on the paint, and then when I move it to the other side, it's completely silent. You can even see in the reflection just the difference between the two halves. Now, the line here is a little bit fuzzy, like it gets, like it's just fuzzy right there. Really the reason for that is it's hard to buff right up against that tape and sand right up against that tape. If you really go perfectly along that edge, it would have been nice and crisp, but it, but it kind of feathered that and made it fuzzy. But I mean, not only can I feel the difference, I can see the difference. These little white specks in here, if you really wanted, you could continue sanding with a high grit sandpaper and buff that out. But this is a lot better than the other side. I mean, this is what this side looked like with all those little white specks. They're all over the place. And those don't just brush off, they're kind of in the paint. Now there's only a few on the surface well, We can't here. leave just one side buffed and the other not buffed, so we're gonna go ahead and buff the other side of the hood. Now I'll go ahead and spray down the other side and start sanding. At this point, everything is very smooth and sanded down. Now it's ready for polish. This looks really nice. You can see the even reflection going on the hood. I'm happy with how it turned out. Now, on this side of the hood, maybe if I spent a little bit more time with 3000, if you can look at it close enough, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's these little streaks running up. 
and I'm guessing those are from whenever I was sanding, flattening the paint, and I can definitely feel it's a very important step. It's a lot smoother than what it was. But those little streaks are a little bit visible. They kind of look like water streaks, but I think it's okay. I mean, if I wanted, I could go back with 3000 or with compound and clean that up, but they're just barely noticeable. That's a huge improvement from what it was. I definitely learned a lot doing it, and I hope you guys learned something too. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.